Let's have a chat. Don't want to chat? Fine. You're on my list now, bub. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. First they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. This is the Sprat Shack, the most remote watering hole in the system. Rule number one, no fighting. Rule number two, wipe your feet on the way downstairs. We're the only hospitable place on this rock. I want to keep it that way. That's why we have rule number three. When people change, they stay outside where they belong. Just don't ask me to dance. Bouncer, bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. That's us. <laughs> highest caliber of what? Is he talking about guns? We get a lot of brand loyal corporate types and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. This is a sublight bar, so most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape, so progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate, then venture out and try again. Something bad happened here. Spacer's Choice was developing chemicals, the kind with nasty side effects. Can this colony have one research facility developing something without horrible, face melting side effects? Is that so much to ask? Marauders outnumber the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. Watch yourself out there. salvage around you here for salvage or merchandise I was here before they shut the project down started drinking just so I could sleep at night watch your step 
Von Hoffman sees everything. This is the best joint in the system, ain't that right? You're a humbug, Trixie, and worse, a thief. I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle-footed dimwit. Break it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. That was my salvage, Trixie. You had no right to it then, and you've no right to it now. A disagreement between professionals. None of your business. I risked my life sneaking around Marauders to claim that wreck. And I didn't see your name on it. Now you've done it. Eat fist! All right, that's enough! This is a family establishment! You want to make a mess? You make it outside! But this was personal, Lex. It's a question of salvage. That wreck was gonna make me a fortune. Now you two listen. This is my place. While you're in the Sprat Shack, you'll sit quietly, or I'll forbid you to come here at all. Is that understood? Fair's fair. I'll have a stout. And we'll settle this later on our own terms. Ah, it's no good to leave a fight unresolved. If I don't do something, these two are gonna be at each other's throats. You'd do that for me? I appreciate it all the same. You'll be paid for your time and expertise, of course. Freddy, Trixie, go on and make your case to the generous stranger. I'll start. Seeing as I'm the one who's been most wronged in this equation. Oh, very formal. <clears throat> Freddy the Scab, freelancer for sublight salvage and shipping. Same as my father before me. Junkyard Trixie, also a salvage freelancer. Though, I've been at it longer than Freddy. So, uh, just up the road and due east of here, there's a shipwreck lodged in the mountainside, right? I staked my claim on that wreck. Then I wandered in for a drink. An hour later, Trixie swaggers in bragging about her salvage. Ugh, the nerve of some people. When I found the shipwreck, there were no salvage mark. See, the whole area was teeming with bloodthirsty marauders. So I snuck around and added my tag. Clear as day, so no drunken idiots could claim the salvage out from under me, Freddy. For the record, when I heard the marauders coming, I left. Trixie must have set her mark down after me. That's my story, ma'am. I drew an X in the dirt, with my toe. Wouldn't surprise me in the least, but that doesn't mean it ain't mine. In all my years, I've never heard a more contentious argument. I don't envy your shoulders for bearing the weight of responsibility. You've heard it from them both. So, who gets the salvage? I knew you'd see the righteousness of my claim. Pleasure doing business with you. That ain't fair. Lex, I want to file an appeal. You can waste time on paperwork, or you can go find some salvage to call your own. Your choice. Here's a six-pack on the house, plus your fee. Maybe now we'll finally get some peace around here for a change. I'll write to Lilia Hagen in the corporate office on Groundbreaker. She'll get some haulers to drag it away. It'll take a while. Nothing happens fast around these parts. But at least the salvage would get a good home. A little too often, if you ask me, but that's the sublight way. Anything worth doing is worth fighting over. Come and chat if you're ever feeling thirsty. Aw, oh, boss. I was hoping for a scuffle. I had a bottle ready and everything. That's my captain. Freddy owes me a drink. No, no, a hundred drinks. That salvage is gonna make me the richest bastard in the colony. Seen any good salvage around? Don't forget to close your tab before you head out.
Heading out. Breaker never had bars this nice. They got balconies and everything. Do you uh, think the folks here like strangers? Because some of them are looking at us like maybe not. Seen any good salvage? Soon as I sober up, I'm heading back to the ruins. Quit staring. I ain't here for your entertainment. Jerome would have loved this place. You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? Don't really seem like the type. You've got the look of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey is far from over. You're kidding, right? This rock is littered with so many journals, logs, and phonographs you could open a library. I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the Marauders would eat me alive. <laughs> Not for long. Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. Well put. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. That was above my pay grade. But it didn't take a genius to figure out the higher-ups were working on something big. Months after I got out, I saw the advertisements for Adrena time. I just knew. This is it, Leonora. It was all for this. No, we're good. That's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. I never saw him again. A broken heart, that's what. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome, and it would have taken me too. I just want one thing back. His old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract, and he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. No point in denying it, he died on this rock. Likely torn apart by marauders, unless... He 
took care of himself on his own terms. I don't like to imagine what happened, but I know I have to accept it. No point. You'd really do that for me? Law, and I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublight sprats. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. Yeah? The lab coats kept quiet about the project, but the air was charged with excitement. You could feel it wherever you went. I wanted to change the world. A tenfold boost to worker productivity with no side effects? Who wouldn't salivate at the thought? I don't know what went wrong, but when the shit hit the fan, it sprayed everyone in its path, including me. Why'd you want to meet here, anyway? I thought we could have some fun in the ruins. Salvaging, like old times. I don't know, Carol. Salvage is a young man's game. I'm just a clerk now. Just a clerk? Come on! Where's your sense of adventure? Oh, fine. At least buy me another round. Make it two. Gotta find my courage. Don't forget to close your tab. Don't forget to close your tab before you head out. This is the best joint in the system. Ain't that right? Huh, who's this now? Wonder if they could... Nah, you might get it. What's the story with this place What's anyhow? Darren? I ain't here for your warehouse. entertainment. Supplies came in, deadly chemicals went out. Who told you that? I worked here back in the day. You're pulling my leg. You know, it's true. Don't forget to... This is a family business. Chin up, look sharp. This rock ain't much to look at, but it's our rock. Seen any good salvage around? This is the best joint... Quit staring. I ain't here for your entertainment. Holy shit, a fresh face. Haven't seen your like in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of this solar system, pal, but you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. Lady at the bar. She not give you the whole nice to meet you where all pals here gosh darn it spiel the second you walk through the door? Damn. Girls lost her spark. Gorgon will beat the fight out of anyone, if this dive's patrons don't do it first. Me? Nah. Never been a pugilistic kind of guy. Did most of my fighting with a pen back when I did it at all. Nowadays, I just drink. At least Lex has got the good manners to let me do it for free. Hey, whoa, no call for insults. We're all friends here. I was a journalist, thank you. A contributing member of our great society. Got into reporting thinking I was going to be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board, and the rest writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Real life and death shit. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? The other 20% is ordering me around. Well, I've been trying to get away from this rock for five lobby-fucked years, but I can't stay gone. Told you I was a journalist, right? I was here on a story back when Project Gorgon was active. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. In terms of my reporting contract, unmet, they said. 
right on the money. Look at me, I'm no fighter. I've never even touched a gun. But you, you're just the right amount of rough around the edges. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. I've got some bits saved up. Haven't had anything to spend them on but beer. And Lex has been letting me drink for free. It's nothing extravagant, you know, journalist salary and all. But the bits are yours if you want them. Someone had been trying to steal them since the day my assistant and I started interviewing. Couldn't even keep them in my safe. They always found a way in. So I took to hiding them all over the fucking asteroid. Thought I was so clever. What a fool I was. Oh, Georgie? Yeah, she helped me with interviews. A real whiz with the portable recorder tech, too. When things got crazy, I shoved her onto the last ship off Gorgon. With any luck, she's safe and comfortable in Byzantium. She tried every which way to stay, but it was my contract keeping us here, not hers. Didn't seem fair she'd have to suffer just because I made a bad deal. Oh, I've tried, make no mistake. I've caught a couple of rides out with sublight folks, but the board's fixers always send me right back. And I'm not about to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with marauders just to fulfill a line item on a contract. No shit? That's downright civilized of you. All right. One of them I stash in the Office of Creative Incubation, in the projector room on the third floor. I give another to my friend Birdie to keep in her apartment, just outside OCI's upper entrance. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B. Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. Sorry about Freddy and Trixie. When they're not fighting over salvage, they're fighting over the bed sheets at night. They like to blow off steam during work hours, but as soon as they clock out, they turn into a pair of kittens. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Spacer's Choice used to brew pharmaceuticals in these parts. That's why the asteroid smells like an old gym sock. They say Adrena time came from here, just down the road at the old R&D lab. Very hush-hush back in the day. I doubt anyone knows the full story. One day the evacuation order went out. Grunts and lab coats scrambled to get anywhere but Gorgon. And the weirdest thing of all, Adrena time still hit the market. Me, I never touch the stuff. To each their own, but I think it's dangerous. Damn right we are. We've got drugs, scrap metal, prototype weapons, drugs, money, and more drugs. When Spacer's Choice evacuated, everyone dropped their gear and ran. Most of it stayed where it fell, and all of it is up for grabs. Of course, the real treasure is whatever's locked up in the old facility. Until someone figures a way to crack it open, we're just sifting through dirt. Roscoe might tell you more. He spent some time around here before the bar opened up. I trust him well enough. There's always Leonora, my favorite customer over in the storage room on the second floor. 
keeps to herself and always closes out her tab. He's been here since opening day. I think he told me he was some kind of journalist. He got left behind when Spacer's Choice pulled out. And I guess no one's coming to get him. Roscoe's drinks are on the house. We all know how it feels to get left behind. He'll be all right. He's with the family now, and we take care of our own. Nice lady. Been coming around a lot these past few months. She isn't with Sublight, but seems to know the lay of the land better than anyone. She spends most of her days drinking alone. I think she's looking to hire someone, if you're open to a side gig. No kidding. Ugh, what a shame. I owe her one on the house. When Spacer's Choice pulled out, a lot of people found themselves adrift. The ones with nowhere to settle ended up here. Sad but true. You know Lecky? Eh, small asteroid. Now that you mention it, I thought I saw those two sharing stories over a pint. Didn't think twice about it. I don't speak ill of the dead, but Leonora deserves better company. That Lucky was no good for her. Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little... dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol, most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Get this, the canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. <laughs> no kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this uh, confluence of events, you know? The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. I'll set him up. You knock him back.
the old days, I felt like I was part of it. What have you got there? Adrena time, I think. I found some in an old busted crate. You're just gonna take some drug you found in the garbage? It's not some drug, it, it's Adrena time. I don't see a label. If it wasn't safe, it wouldn't be in a syringe. I can't argue with that. This rock ain't much to look at, but it's our rock. Watch your step. Von Hoffman. That's a human eyeball. You think they stick the preservative in before or after the eye comes out? I'm all right. That last one really emptied my guts. No, wait. Here comes more. When did I become such a lightweight? So, how you feeling? Good. Real good. Are you my agent on the ground? Sorry? I've been sent to meet a certain someone about a certain piece of merchandise. They're supposed to use a secret code phrase. <laughs> Can't help you. I'm just here to drink. That's the code phrase. It is you. Quiet down. You're making a scene. Did you bring the payment? I don't know. Did you bring the goods? No payment. Give me a taste of the goods, just so I know I can trust you.
Who do you work for anyway? Darkness lurked in the heart of Gorgon. Captain Hawthorne and her crew were about to find out. You think this place we're headed will tell us more about Gorgon? I wonder what they got up to here. 